Good morning! Today we're going on our first trip since officially moving to New Zealand. And we moved here over four months ago. Today's the first day that we're leaving the city. Oh my gosh! And it's to go to one of the most beautiful places in New Zealand. Every time I tell someone we're going there, they gasp. Something a little bit different to our usual is that we're actually on our way to work. I've got one month, one day per month that is very stressful. And it just so happens that today is that day. Now my recommended Of course today, of all the days of this week, had to be very busy. And I literally struggled to get out the door. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Something pretty fun. If you see, hopefully you can see this project up there. This building being built. That's the building I'm working on. Ah! Yeah. I was there this cool. morning. We went up. Auckland traffic, please be good to us. We need to get to it. We're oh, yeah. here. That was actually really good. Uh, we didn't quite know how to get to the airport, but now we know that you can take this bus. It's called the Sky Drive. It's actually really easy, and it's one of the it's one of the cheap options. You can take an Uber, and it's literally three times the price. So. Beautiful places. Yeah. Ah. So We're not staying close enough to the airport to walk. We're gonna need to take a bus to get to it. <laughs> What's happening? What? Yeah, this is shaking back there. We, we need to catch a bus to get to our accommodation. But now the problem is because we've landed at half past eight at night, the place to buy a bus card is closed. It closed as we landed. So now we've made a little plan and what we think is that there's a bus card waiting for us under a rock outside the front entrance. <laughs> we have no idea if it is still there. It was put there many hours ago. So we're gonna have to see. Wait. Do you remember which one it was? No! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> no, that is brilliant. It felt so ratchet. <laughs> Today has been absolutely crazy. But we're here, that's all that counts. And I feel like I can finally talk. So coming to this particular place is more than just a quick weekend getaway. It's something more than that. We're coming here to see if we can potentially move here one day. Let's go! But every Saturday morning, we do... 
What? <laughs> about the frost here is it's not like it's snowed and collected on the ground it's like it building builds up from the ground up from the ground you can probably see it here like you can see how they're all like coming up it's so cool and then if you do that you can see how you like break it down it's very yeah i don't know but <laughs> it's cool okay let's go so now that it is the daytime welcome to Every Saturday morning since we've arrived in Queenstown, for, so for the past four months, we do the park run. And it's pretty cool that we're going to be able to do a park run here in Queenstown. We've even created like a little group, a WhatsApp group. We've got a little park run community back in Auckland. And now we're expanding our horizons to the southern island in New Zealand. But it's freezing. It is minus six at the moment. And the plan for the day. So, unfortunately, it just so happens that in this whole period that we are here, everything is closed for its annual maintenance. Things are only closed for a couple of weeks each year, and it just so happens that it's now during this time. So this not... How it, many things did we actually have done? Look, I mean, I would have been keen to go skiing. Skiing is closed. I would have been keen to do a luge up on the side of the mountain. The luge is closed. It would have been cool to go on a steamboat across the river or across the lake. Like, this lake. But the steamboat is also closed. So instead, we're probably just going to meander around town, hit up a few bakeries, a few coffee shops, and just feel like, feel what it's like to actually live here, rather than just do all the touristy things. Which is also not a bad thing at all, seeing that we are trying to see if this is a place where we could potentially move to one day. I'm not ready to take this jacket off. I'm trying. My face is frozen. Oh, my sinuses feel frozen. I'm getting a bit of a headache. <sighs> Something pretty interesting about the park around here in Queenstown is that it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, whereas all the other ones start at 8. It's pretty crazy because the sun only came up half an hour ago. Yeah. Quarter past 8, the sun comes up. <laughs> And here we are, the start of the park run. There's no way for us to really record this now because whenever I do a park run, oh, I can't even talk properly. Yeah. Whenever I do a park run, he I races. race. I race. This uh, is his race. This is my week. weekly race. He takes it very seriously. Yeah. So I will not be recording. I will see you afterwards. Are you going to record? Maybe I'll record a bit on my phone. Yeah, maybe. If you don't see anything, we'll see you after afterwards. the park run. I was going to say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> The most beautiful park run I've ever done. Look at that. Oh, here comes Norik. Woohoo! Look at them locks. Yeah. Oh, that was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. I mean, I'm just even looking now. Mountains everywhere. It was freezing. My fingers are stinging. Everything's stinging. It's really cold, but beautiful. And that was a Queenstown Park run. It's definitely not the hardest track that I've ever done, but it was just so ridiculously cold. My thumbs felt like they want to fall off. So I was thinking about it. The best way to describe just how sore my thumbs got there is it felt like a bee stung me under both of my nails. If you can, if you can understand what that feels like. It was just so cold. It's a really nice park run there running along so the, running along the lake. So 
but it's just so cold. Okay, next up, we're gonna quickly run back to our accommodation, get changed, and it's time for a pie and a coffee. We've Ooh. been told about a bakery here. Ferg Burger, Ferg Bakery. Something with a Ferg in front of it means it's gonna be pretty good. And that's where we're heading to first. Open your mouth, it's gonna go into your mouth. Open your mouth. Um. <laughs> Was brilliant. <laughs> no, you made it. Tested it yet? Yeah, I've already taken a couple of steps. It's pretty good. Okay, so something that we've figured out in the past four months of us living here is that coffee and a pie is a very big part. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> very big parts of the New Zealand culture. And we've been told about the bakery that we just went to right now. It's got a really good pie. This, this is our coffee. Oh, mm. also, something that we got into recently is having oat milk instead of normal cow milk in our coffees. It's actually really good. It's really good. I'm just grabbing our pies. That is a, oof. It's just so much better. We got the same flavor pie, so we only really need to try one. That's really good, eh? Ready? That's a really good pie. Is it focused? Yeah. Here we go. Pastry! <laughs> more pastry. Mm -hmm. Look, out of all the pies I've had in New Zealand so far, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's probably the best one. Mm. That's That is really good. So it's not just a brand thing, they actually have really good stuff. Do you wanna show them what else we got? <laughs> a giant pretzel! <laughs> the other half of it. <laughs> well, usually on our park on Saturday mornings we always end up going to a second coffee shop. It'd be really nice to actually just take a walk around town and find an actual cafe rather than just to take away coffee. Mm. Mm. I've done like things like that in the past like a big swing or whatever mm. but I just have a headache. Ooh. Oh. Not as far as I was thinking. Yeah. They're waterproof. They're waterproof. Oh, okay. It's probably like, what are you doing? <laughs> so we're actually not alone on this trip this weekend, which is pretty cool. We've come with friends. We're missing two friends at the moment. They're mm -hmm. a bit sick back at the house. But over here, this is this is this Rachel. Is Rachel. Oh. This is Rachel. <laughs> it's cool to be going on a group trip. We've always been traveling alone for all these years. So ever since we got to New Zealand, we've been on the hunt to find the very best coffee that we can find, or that we can get. According to our preference. According to our preference. New Zealand's got a very different coffee palette. They like sweet and fruity, whereas we like more of the, the dark and chocolatey. So we've been going for four months now. We're getting close. We're getting close, but we haven't found it just yet. Now we're going to the top rated coffee shop in Queenstown. Which probably means it'll be the coffee all New Zealanders yeah, like, which is probably. pretty and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we want to talk to you about our partner for today's video, Vivo Barefoot Shoes. We just want to put a quick disclaimer out there. They have not paid us to say anything about their shoes. They have given us a pair of shoes each and told us to review it. What we said from the very beginning that we would never take a sponsorship from a company that we didn't fully believe in. And this is the first company that we fully believe in. We've been wearing these shoes for the past two months already. So we've put them through their paces properly. And we can say without a doubt that these are the most comfortable shoes that we have ever worn in our entire lives. We're always looking for opportunities to wear them. Honestly, one of the biggest 
gripes I have with normal shoes is that I always feel like my feet are squished in there, like my toes are squished. These are the first shoes I've ever put on where there's actually space for your feet, like the natural space. And if you think about the way your feet are shaped, like more wide at the front. And <laughs> you see through the little gloves, the feet are like that. Your yeah. feet are wider at the front, wider at the front and narrow at the back but our shoes are not shaped that way and it makes no sense. Anyway, so. So end up, you end up having your toes being squashed yeah. on the front of the shoes, which just affects everything, your shins, your knees, your back. And you can feel as soon as you trans transition into these type of shoes, everything just gets back into alignment together. Give the description you keep telling okay. about when you take them off and when you put them on. <laughs> the best way to describe what it's like wearing these shoes is with normal shoes, when you take them off, you're like, Oh, thank goodness the shoes are off. Like relief. The relief. But when you take these shoes off, you're like, Aww. oh, <laughs> like they're so nice. It, it kind of looks like every shoe has been handmade and it's not something that just happens in the factory. So it's really premium materials, it's premium quality, and it's just such an enjoyable experience for us to be wearing these shoes. <laughs> so if you want to find out more information about Vivo Barefoot Shoes, click the link in the bio. Is that it? Yep. Okay, yeah. let's go get that second cup of coffee. Going. What's your verdict on the coffee? It's like, oh, it's not sweet. I <laughs> know, oh, not what you it's like. Not vanilla. I'd say I prefer this coffee to the Berg, Berg Bakery yo. coffee. I really like it. Yo, 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 yo. <coughs> oh boy, is that okay. your fave? Yeah, I think so. No, like no. <clears throat> In four months. One of the best. I think it's my favorite. One of the best. This could be my favorite coffee that I've had in New Zealand. I'm trying to think of which other one we, we, we had. Nothing has favorite. come close to this one. So just in this single morning session, we found the best pie and the best coffee. Queenstown, you are delivering yeah. so far. <laughs> it hasn't taken long. And look at that. Gotta do it. We've had two coffees, we've gone to the bakery, everything is closed, so the only thing we're going to be able to do now is go to a bar. There's apparently some really cool brewery out in the mountains where you can watch people bungee jump. So pretty much just fall right next to you while you're sipping on a beer. We're going to try and get there, use the public transport to get there. Let's go have a look. So Queenstown's base population is not all that big, it's only about 15,000 people, like throughout the year, but then during the touristy seasons, now this is a bit of a kicker that might influence whether we would want to move here or not. That 15,000 population jumps up to 110,000 people. You know, that goes nearly 10 times. And it kind of goes against what we're looking for in a place where we can just escape the noise of the city and things like that. But now getting onto the bus and actually leaving Queenstown itself, like we're not all that far away. We're only we're less than 10 kilometers outside of the city. We've left the rush. We've left the noise. And it's just a whole lot more peaceful. Yeah, we don't have the view of the lake, like what you do when you're in Queenstown itself. But I mean, Look at these mountains, you know, these are people just living at the foot of a mountain. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And it's pretty quiet as well, except for the cars that drive past every now and again. It is pretty quiet and it's such a nice change of pace compared to Auckland.
Okay, that was a little bit of drama. We arrived at the brewery, and there's just a whole bunch of people with filming with, gear. Like, full on filming gear. And there was even a sign up saying filming in progress. Yeah. Mm. So we weren't allowed to cover most of that place. It was pretty cool that it, it seemed like they were filming the amazing race, but like a, an Israeli version of it. Just a wild guess. When you're no, looking I at their notes, it, it looked like Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Where? It could be very wrong. Unlike the little <clears throat> amazing race pack booklet thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I did not see that. That was cool. But it also meant that we couldn't film anything. So now we're leaving this little valley and we're going to something we've never been to before. This will be pretty cool. Whose goats are these? Are they just like wild goats? Just out here. I certainly haven't seen like sheep or goats randomly walking around freely. So the rugby was a little bit of a distraction. The place that we are going to that we had never been before is something called the minus five ice bar. Thanks so much. <laughs> Town weekend. This is Coronet Peak. We're surrounded by snow and beautiful views. This is actually the skiing slope peak area. <laughs> but I don't know how it's supposed to be opening this coming Friday because it really doesn't look skiable at the moment. Yeah, literally in five days, there's going to be thousands of people here on this very mountain busy skiing. They'll pull it out. <laughs> That's New Zealand. Okay, so answering the original question, we came here to figure out. Would we want to move to Queenstown one day? Your answer. I'm on the fence. It feels like a touristy pass through town. Maybe if we lived in the outskirts, but I don't know. I'm kind of in this in-between where it's like, it's so beautiful here, but I just wonder if you start taking that for granted if you actually live here. And I wouldn't want that. Yeah, for me as well, it's not an immediate yes. Like I didn't arrive in Queenstown and think, yes, this is where I want to be one day. It's probably because of all the people. You can feel that the community in its core in Queenstown is really cool. Like all the people are so friendly and very proud and passionate about their region, but it's the tourists. The thousands of tourists that pass this through each year. And that I don't might even think this was somewhere. a really busy time that no. we were here. So. So, it's, so it's not an immediate yes, it's not a definite no. I'm interested in Queenstown, I'd want to come back again, but I think we'd have to come back for longer than just two nights to figure out if this is somewhere that we'd want to move down there. But again, thank you so much to our partners for this video, Viva Barefoot Shoes. Honestly, it has been freezing this whole weekend, but the only things that haven't been cold... Our feet! Our feet. And we're always looking for opportunities to wear these things. Yes. They are the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn in our entire lives. I'm not too sure where we're going to next. We're still planning another getaway. 
but you'll be sure to find out where we're going to. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Forgot to mention one thing. Last night we saw something pretty wild. We saw a guy break the Guinness World Record oh, right. for... <laughs> Just watch it. It's pretty cool. Whatever he's doing in the video, that's what he broke the world record for. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was the Juggling Jack Flash show.